Hey guys, Super Godzilla Final Wars here, and I'm back with another Godzilla figure review. This time we're going to be reviewing, possibly, my favorite Mecha Godzilla. Actually, yeah, my favorite Mecha Godzilla. Mecha Godzilla 2021, aka Godzilla vs. Kong, Mecha Godzilla, or aka Mecha Kevin! <laughs> So, yeah, moving on for So let's go over his well, success rate. He comes with another. He comes with a little heave. And uh, there's nothing too much besides the. Well, it's a different color than the other one was. The other one was gray. This one's a bit more green. And I was kind of seeing. And I was kind of wondering if we we're going to see a green one in the, monster, in the movie, but nope. So it's going to get that out of the way real quick. Moving on to the main guy. So. So. Yeah, let's move on for his articulation. Obviously his arms can move. His legs can move. His feet can move. His tail can move. And his mouth can move, his articulated mouth, and just like. And, uh, of course, this little piece could come off, which reveals even more inside, more of his uh, middle insides. So for detailing, this guy freaking kills it with detailing. Um, I think he does better with the Bandai, I think. Because the Bandai doesn't look that good at all. Um, he just kills it. The Bandai... I doesn't really have the amount of detailing as this one does. The detailing is just beautiful. I just love how the way this figure was just detailed. And, uh, yeah. And, um, and I think the SH Monster Arts even, the SH Monster Arts on the other hand, the SH Monster Arts looks amazing. This A6 one starts looks way better. And if you guys are wondering if I'm gonna get my hands on it, maybe. I might get my hands on it. That depends. So this figure, um, I think they're doing another one, but this one but the other one has is a bit more different color. And it has it comes with a little red beam, I think. And I think I might get my hands on that one. That depends. I think it. I think it will because it. It's fair enough because I got like two different versions of Godzilla. One that one has a beam and the other one doesn't. So this one doesn't have a beam. So, oh, speak about the beam. You can actually put the atomic breath in Mecha Godzilla's mouth. I think. Yeah, you can. See, look at that. It's kind of cool. Well, isn't it? I could just like put the beam inside of Mecha Godzilla's mouth. But uh, yeah. 
So this figure is just beautiful. I just love this figure so goddamn much. So yeah, for the size comparisons, here is Mechagodzilla with the Barabasaurus, and I think Mechagodzilla stands way taller. Yeah, he does. So, oh yeah. So that's it for this video of the well, obviously the. That's it for this review of the, well, Mechagodzilla 2021. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to have a mega gorgia with excellence, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.